What's up guys, this is ZMangaka89 and I am back with another video where I take a look at your questions that you submit to me and answer them with your really stupid answers. No, but seriously, I try to answer them as, as best as I can. So before we get started, I'm going to tell you guys some announcements. If you've been active on my Facebook page and looked at what I've been posting, you probably read the post where I said this would be the last MQFY and you're probably like, what? Huh? What? Well, you read it right. This is going to be the last MQFY. For a while. And I'm going to tell you why I'm doing this. This is the 12th MQFY and that means since I've been doing it monthly, this has been exactly a year. It's been exactly a year that I've been doing these MQFY shows, and at some points, the, some of them were not very uh, successful, I would say. Some months, I would get pretty much barely any questions. I remember one month, it was around December or January, I was asked, actually asking you guys to submit questions. Now, you see, with Q&A videos like these, I shouldn't be asking for questions. It is, It should be up to the viewers to ask whatever questions they have in mind. So at one point, I felt like I was forcing you guys to ask questions, and I was like, you know what, that's not right. So instead, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be waiting a little while while my, well, uh, I gain a little bit more of a fan base and more subscribers, so that when I think I get enough, I'll introduce an, a, a whole new Q&A video, but I'm going to ask you guys to just list every single question that you have in the comments of that video, and then the next video will just be like one big video, answering all of your questions, like every single one that you submitted, even troll ones, whatever. So it won't be monthly, it would just be like one big video. So I hope you understand where I'm trying to come from. More announcements, I'm thinking of adding a few more new series to my channel. So as you've probably heard me mention before on either my Facebook page, Twitter, or even maybe even on YouTube, I don't remember, that I was going to be doing interviews, like one-on-one -on -one interviews over Skype with other well-known, maybe not so well-known, or semi-well-known manga artists and anime reviewers on YouTube and recording it, uploading it <coughs> to YouTube. That was one idea, and I'm planning on going. I'm planning on going through with that idea, hopefully soon. My first interviewee would be Jotango. If you haven't checked, if you don't know who he is, I'll leave a, a, a link to his channel below in the description. And uh, he he agreed to do the interview with me, so that's cool. Um, he said he was going to get a new laptop in a few months, so he said to wait a few months and then he would tell me when it was okay to set up a time and do the interview. So that's one new segment idea I thought of adding to the channel. And this is where you guys come in. What would you guys like to see? Just tell me in the comments below and I'll try to look through them and decide which ones. I have a few ideas of things that I would like to potentially like to add to this channel. Um, maybe like doing anime reactions, watching new animes. And having live reactions of it, so like animes I've never seen before and reacting to it on video or something like that. That's just one idea. I don't want to spoil the rest of my ideas, but if you guys have any ideas that you would like to share and maybe have me consider putting up on this YouTube channel, then you can go ahead and do that in the comments section below. That's pretty much all the announcements I have right now, so without further ado, let's get started with the last MQFY. Alright, first question is from Akio Yosh. Yosh? He asks, What the Flamingos is a French ruler? What does it do? And do you like Shotokan? Alright, first off, I'm just going to introduce to you what a French ruler is. This is what it looks like. This is the most commonly shaped one, or the one that a lot of people seem to know. Uh, you may have seen it in Bakuman. What does it do? Well, if you take a look at it, it's not an ordinary ruler. Now, it has curved lines, or sometimes really curved lines, and basically, what it's used it for is to do curved lines with ease. So instead of doing a freehand, just use this instead. I have a tool tutorial on it from like a year ago, but it sucks. It really does suck, and I'm so disappointed in it because it's my most viewed video on this channel. It's about to hit 8,000 views, and I'm like, what? It's the worst tool tutorial I've ever done in my life, and I just don't understand it. But uh, if you want, you can go check it out. And do I like Shotokan? What the hell is Shotokan? Alright, hold on. Let me ask my phone. Hold on. Shotokan, sometimes shortened to sh Shota, Shota, is a Japanese slang portmanteau. Portmanteau? Never heard that word before. Of the phrase Shotaro complex. 
and describes an attraction to young bo boys. Yo, what are you making me read here? Usually from an adult individual. Outside Japan, the term is used less often with this meaning. It refers to a genre of manga and anime wherein prepubescent or pubescent male characters are depicted in a suggestive or erotic manner, whether in... Yo, I'm not... Yo, what? 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 Why'd you make me search that out, dude? The second question isn't really a question, it's kind of a, a, a command. So, it's from Kid Manga, and he's asking, well, he's telling me to, Dude, listen to Haruka Kanata by Asian Kung Fu and let me know what you think. I love Asian Kung Fu Generation, but I haven't heard that song before, actually. I only know their album called Fan Club. I'm gonna check it out. Oh, it's Naruto opening song. Alright, I got you. That bass. Not bad. I'm not even gonna lie. I love Asian Kung Fu Generation. Yeah. I've heard this before. I just didn't know the name. Alright, that wasn't a half bad song, I actually really liked it. Next question is from Nico Batix. What do you do if you draw something but then realize it is not what you wanted? For example, do you erase the mistake, keep it as a reference, or scrap the drawing altogether? Now that is a good question. When I draw something and it's not what I wanted, which is usually what happens, it's usually the case, I most of the time I do keep it. Cause save the paper. No, but in all seriousness, um, I usually do keep it for reference, or no, if not for reference, then I'll usually go back to it, erase everything, and re just reuse the paper. But if something is like fully inked and it doesn't come out the way I wanted it to look, then yeah, I'll just keep it for no reason. I'll just because because I worked hard on it, I spent time on it, even if it's not something that I that uh, turned out to be what I wanted, I'm still gonna keep it because I worked on it. So it took time out of my life, so I might as well just keep it. I'm not gonna dump something I wasted my time on, or used up my time on. And yes, I do usually keep them for reference in the future, because I my art improves pretty frequently. It improves every four or five months, or every few months, and I usually like to go back and look at whatever I drew a few months ago, and I usually see a difference, because without knowing, like I improve on some things, and um, it's just nice to see how how the progression or improvement in my art can happen in a mere few months. So I hope that answered your question. The next question is actually on my Facebook page, and it's from Michael Cerniglia, uh, the guy who sent me mail a few weeks ago. His name is also Blader Sonic 19 on YouTube. I think it changed now, some Japanese sounding name now. But he asks, uh, I got a question. Do you shop at Jet Pens? So I guess a better question would be. Where do I usually shop for my manga supplies? My answer is most frequently deleter-mangashop.com But that was about a year and a half ago to two years ago. I really haven't bought anything, any manga supplies online for a really, really long time. And uh, apparently people have been telling me lately that the tax and the shipping charges on deleter.com are really, really expensive to the point that it's more expensive than what the, the merchandise that they're buying. So I don't know what's up with that. I thought it was fine when I bought it, I think. I don't know. But uh, the reason why I haven't bought anything online lately is because last year I went to Sekaido Art Supply Shop when I took a trip to Japan and it's in Shinjuku. And I bought a, a crap ton of supplies there and I still haven't used them all up yet. And it's been a year. So that just shows you how much I bought. I'm still using those up so I haven't had to buy anything online yet, but I might have to in another year or so. That's 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 my answer. I mean, I've checked out jetpens.com, I've checked out akadot.com, I think it's called, but I've only shopped at the leader mangashop.com. Jetpens has some pretty good stuff actually, and I might consider buying some stuff from them in the near future if I need to. Yeah, I don't shop at JetPens, unfortunately. And I'm pretty sure that's all the questions that have been sent to me for this month. And there, right off the bat, you, you see, 
because usually I do five questions a month and this month I've only gotten four. So it's been a good year doing these MQFYs. Uh, I think they became somewhat successful and also led to some new opportunities for this channel. It led in some new subscribers and it really, it kind of broadened my horizons for this channel because before I was only doing like tool tutorials and TOMs and a few vlogs and then when I started doing MQFYs um, I started branching out in different directions like I started doing Japanese snack reviews I started doing J-Rock reviews and actually the Gazette just dropped their new single Fadeless today so I might do a single review for that in a day or two I don't know, depends I still have to get used to the, to the three songs I listened to them today, they're amazing but I'm, I think the MQFYs were somewhat successful for this channel and uh, it's been a good run 12 MQFYs, one year. So no more MQFYs for a while. And I hope that doesn't disappoint you guys. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope that you enjoy this last MQFY. I'm sorry I couldn't really end it with a bang, but uh, it's, it's all good. Q&A videos will return someday. So don't be too sad. And that's pretty much it. That's the end of this video. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, favorite, comment, and don't forget to, most importantly, subscribe. It will help me out a lot. And this is ZmangaK89, and I'm out. Bye. So before we get started, up. <laughs>